Welcome to a set of tutorial videos about NetLogo. NetLogo is a computer programming language and programming development environment useful for designing simulations of scientific and social phenomena. Let's take a look at a couple here. Suppose we take a look at a set of bouncing balls. We can change the number of balls or increase them. We can increase the speed, although the video may not keep up. So you can see that we can take a simulation and change its conditions as we like. That's one of the magic properties of NetLogo. Let's take a look at something else. Here is a waterfall. We can change the force of gravity, make it lower, so the balls bounce. Let's take a look at another one. We have a set of termites here which when following very very simple rules turn out to magically build a set of ter uh, twig piles. Why they do that? is an interesting mystery that you can actually delve into by taking a look at the information tab on this particular model. We can take a look at cars in traffic for instance. Here's a red car that we are following moving in a traffic pattern that's really curious because he slows down every so often and why he does that is an interesting thing to find out. We can also go to social science simulations like this one that simulates the spread of AIDS and immunity to AIDS. Most of the interesting information is down here in the charts that, uh, that NetLogo can automatically create. But of course if we're tired of doing responsible work we can always do something bizarre for instance, here is a model that incorporates a very weird sound machine that whenever, hit, whenever parts of it hit the wall, it will sound. We can pick it up and twirl it and play with it and play with it for hours on end. Or, speaking of playing with it, we can, in fact, play. Pac-Man. All of this is available to the programming language if you know how to use it. Oops, you died. NetLogo was created initially. The idea was developed by a man named Seymour Papert, a brilliant cognitive scientist and computer scientist who was one of the first found, uh, developers of a language called Logo, which he designed in the 1960s to teach children how to program. And the basic idea involved a turtle, which looked like an upside down sal clear plastic salad bowl and was able to run around on a table on the ground and draw things according to very simple commands that even a child could program. This idea led to the logo language and to its offshoots and ultimately to NetLogo which was designed by Dr. Yuri Walensky there on the left sometime in the 1960s and that is the language we are using now. My, my name is Peter Brooks. I will be your guide. I'm a teacher at Stuyvesant High School in New York City and president of Micromind and also world and renowned sleeper. <laughs>